Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome to another episode of what I'm playing. Today, we are playing Tetris 99 for the Nintendo Switch. This is a game that you can get for free on the Nintendo Switch, as long as you have the online service, which is pretty affordable. It's 20 bucks a year. As a matter of fact, if you're a Twitch Prime subscriber, you can get it for free right now just for being a member. But anyways, I want to talk about this game because when it comes to Tetris, Tetris is kind of a passe game. We've all played Tetris in at least one form or another. I mean, the game series has been around since the early to mid 80s um, and the first iteration that most of us have played was probably either the NES or Game Boy version of the game, just depending on, you know, I guess your gaming history and your gaming experience. Uh, obviously, if you're a younger gamer, you've probably played it through some other means. You know, there's been numerous variations of Tetris throughout the years. And Tetris 99 does something that's really interesting that I wasn't really expecting to happen to Tetris. I, it does something that makes Tetris fresh again. And what I mean by that, I mean, there's a lot of gamers that are diehard Tetris fans out there. But it's generally the same thing every time. Let's be honest here, guys. You're dropping bricks, clearing lines. You try to survive as long as you can. Now, what this game does is it turns that into a battle royale. We are playing against 98 other players. So all of the games that you have going across, you see all the flashing lights and so on that's happening on the screen. Those are other players clearing lines and sending lines over to their opponents. And then their opponents have to clear those lines if they want to survive. Uh, so it gets pretty hectic really quickly, as you can imagine, uh, being a battle royale. I mean, most battle royale games are ridiculous to play in, in the first place. Games like Fortnite and whatnot are just crazy on the amount of dedication and time that you have to put into those. Uh, not to mention, there is a fair bit of luck when it comes to Battle Royale games. And that's one of the things that a lot of people do complain about. That's one thing that's really perfect about this particular game, though, as far as a Battle Royale is because Tetris is a skill game. I mean, I guess you could say almost any video, any video game would have some kind of level of luck or randomization. That is going to happen. Uh, but when it comes to Tetris, there's really not much that's involved with that. I mean, you've got the blocks and they land in whatever orders they do. That's really about the only luck-based thing. Everything else is all skill. And you see what you get when it comes to Tetris, you know? So it's just a really interesting idea and it is a lot of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and show one more game of this. This one, this time I actually get pretty far but unfortunately, because I'm not a very good Tetris player, I don't win. Spoiler alert. So if you're looking for pro level Tetris play, you can go ahead and click off this video because that's not me, guys. I am not a pro level player, but I do make a valiant effort here. So I want to kind of talk a bit about my history of Tetris while we're going through this, of course. Uh, the very first time I played Tetris naturally was the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. I guess it was around 1990 or so. I don't remember the exact location. If it was either at one of my friend's houses. I remember playing it at a couple of friend's houses. And I also remember playing it at my grandma's. Because I remember my cousin Carol. She was a big Tetris fan. And she was really good at the game. Uh, a lot better than I was, for sure. <laughs> at any point in my life. But anyways. Um, it's just... It was just such an addictive game, you know, because, I mean, I liked puzzle video games. You know, I liked playing certain games like uh, Klax. Klax was kind of like a Tetris clone. I think I played that before Tetris, believe it or not. And uh, Adventures of Lolo, that was a fantastic game. Uh, but Tetris was a phenomenon. It really was. 
along with Dr. Mario, which came out a little bit later. Uh, that was a really popular game for its time, too. Although, Dr. Mario never really stood the test of time like Tetris did. And I think it's because of the ways that these games play. Tetris is just such a simplistic game, and it it just works. You know, it works for all generations, all ages, and everything like that. Dr. Mario kind of mixes it up with the mechanics a bit, and it kind of, like, muddies the experience a little bit. And I think that's why it never really approached the same level of popularity that Tetris did. So, right here at the early stage of the game, it looks pretty bad. Um, it looks like I'm probably about to go out, but I assure you I'm not. I actually, uh, unless, unless I've skipped to a game before, but, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one I do really good in. But I have a pretty disastrous start at the beginning, but I do have a little bit of luck with some good block drops that really help me out. Um, yeah, I think things are going to start to turn around. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe this isn't the game. <laughs> Okay, well, my bad. Uh, it's definitely the one after that, uh, for sure. So I guess I, um, I I do want to point out, by the way, that this is a pre-recorded video. So this isn't me trying to play the game live um, while trying to commentate on it, because if I try to do that, it'd be a really disastrous video. Uh, for one, my play skill would really suck, because I would be trying to focus on just playing the game, but my focus would be broken by the fact that I'm also trying to talk to you guys. And then, of course, that part of it is going to suck and suffer as well. You know, I probably would just stutter and stammer all over the place like I tend to do uh, whenever I have a level of nervousness or whatever. But it, it just would not have been a very good video. So I decided to record some footage of me playing the game and then commentate over it. I figured that'd be better to do a post commentary. I know it's not really the kind of thing I do with this video series because this video series is meant to be raw. It's meant to just show things as minimal editing as possible uh, because I just want to have a kind of pure experience and something that I can put out, you know, just to show the passion that I have for gaming, you know, more than anything else. Uh, I think that's really the primary objective of this video series when I'm playing. I, at least that's what I hope it comes across as. Maybe it doesn't. You guys can let me know what you think here. Uh, obviously, the start of the match is not looking good. I will admit I'm already more than halfway up the screen. But things do start turning up for me. I promise you. I promise you this is the match where I actually start getting good, as they would say. So I'm actually getting a little bit of a streak here with clearing some lines and the the drops with the blocks are pretty good. They're pretty good. You know, they're not like the best drops ever, but they're definitely not disadvantaging me here. They're definitely not screwing me with this here. So I'm able to start mustering something really good. And bam, we're going to get two Tetrises in a row here which is really going to put a hurting on the two people that are targeting me right now. So, and I'm just keep on adding and adding those lines. And then I think somebody in just a little bit is dumb enough to target me, despite the fact that I'm like cleaning house right now. And I have like almost no lines. Um, I don't have any KOs either, so I'm not a target necessarily. But... They're going to join in on the pain. Actually, they dropped off once they got their bricks almost to the top, and now they're about to go out. <laughs> but yeah, it's just such a hectic mess, this game, and I love it. I really do. Uh, it's just so entertaining, and I can't really... In a way, it kind of ruins other Tetris games for me. I don't think I could play Tetris in any other form, uh, especially whenever I can just knock three players out in like an instant like that it's epic so man tetris 99 there's really not a whole lot i can say that i haven't already said about it it's a fantastic game and if you have a nintendo switch online membership and you haven't played it for some reason you should definitely try it out and if you're not really an online player they actually do have an offline mode 
that's available. Now, you do have to pay for that. It is a uh, DLC that costs $10. It's like the Big Block DLC or something like that. I forget what it's called. Um, but there is a way you can do the Battle Royale with CPUs only if you think maybe the players are too good. You can take your shot at the CPU. Maybe you can get some luck there. Uh, they also have a classic marathon mode where you just try to clear as many lines as you can. You try to survive as long as you can. That's a pretty typical Tetris mode, you know. It just kind of makes sense to have that in there for the Tetris purists that really like that old school style of gameplay. But this is the way I'm going to be playing Tetris from here on out. until they, At least until they come up with something that's really innovative. I really screwed that drop up there. And... Yeah, it, it's just fantastic, guys. I mean, there's nothing else I can really say about that. This is, bar none, the best innovation Tetris has had in years. Maybe even in this century. And I know that's pretty bold to say. Because that means that 19 years worth of Tetris, this is the best one. I think so. I really do. And it is worth the price of admission. Like, it is worth getting a Nintendo Switch online membership to play if you like Tetris games. Um, that's, that's, that's what it is, guys. I mean, it is a fantastic version of Tetris with a really clever premise that can't be beat. And so things are starting to get a little sweaty here. I'm getting pretty close to coming out, but I do have a little more to show you guys. Before I get knocked out, I end up getting 10th place. And it's getting rough because the guy that's targeting me, I've only got one player that's targeting me. But they are a pretty good player, and they keep sending lines over to me. You know, I do my best to clear them out, and I stay around for a while, but bam, they hit me with 7 right off the bat and that's gonna suck fortunately i've got the tetrises but i noticed that the number of lines you clear doesn't equal the number of lines that they add to you uh, which just really sucks and it, they're just adding lines to me left and right look at all the bricks on the left that uh, the game's gonna be adding and throwing in there but not before i get one last little juicy morsel of an attack on them, which is going to be brilliant here. Well, maybe not that brilliant, but uh, I do slam him a little bit more. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm about to go out. I'm pretty sure. I think I, yeah, I think I actually do hit a one last time before I go out. Bam, a Tetris. But even that is just not enough to stop the onslaught of bricks that's about to hit my play field, and there I go. But I took five players out with me, which is really good. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay of Tetris 99. Uh, make sure to leave a like or comment or whatever if you did, and if not, leave a dislike. You know, leave some uh, negative feedback as long as it's not too hateful. You know, I can take it. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're looking for videos that aren't these when I'm playing videos, because that's all I've done besides live streaming lately, I actually do plan on having something new coming up in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned to that. But till then, Down Phoenix out.